Welcome to a special edition today of the Bavarian Base Talk. And as the one who follows me on the Bavarian Base Talk knows, I was traveling almost all over the world for talking to, to important and influential bass players. But today I'm at home in Mühldorf am Inn during the last day of the Bavarian Base Days 2019. And it's my big pleasure to welcome Professor Bojo Paracic for this Bavarian Base Talk. And welcome, Bojo. Thank you so much, Klaus. I'm so happy you are here Me and too. to have the chance to talk to you in front of a camera and, and, and an audience. Uh, and my first question is, I mean, you came here Friday night, you prepared the concert already with the pianist Thomas Hartmann, you played an awesome concert in, on the first day of the, of, the, of the Bavarian Bass Days, another one yesterday, you've been teaching a lot, you did master classes. Um, I think you saw everything that is going on here. Uh, what is your opinion about the whole, about the whole event? Yeah, it's fantastic. I really have just congratulations. I think the events like this are just crucial for also for reaching a kind of synthesis between also different styles because we are playing such a such a instrument with huge amount of varieties or diversity in the musical styles and everything and we had such a amazing jazz players and electric bass guitar players who were teaching here also. So my area is uh, specifically, of course, people who follow this kind of my activities, they know it. it is my kind of task in my career. I put it to, I wanted to just reach as high quality level as possible in the soloistic classical music performance on the double bass. And uh, I think this is, however, for me, especially interesting that, uh, that this event really has an audience of double bass players from, from all different these musical styles. Mm -hmm. It was also for me extremely um, powerful impression to see people who are great just in these other areas. Yeah. And like you developed a, a style of playing that is outstanding I would say and Thank you. I mean beside technical and musically you also changed things on the instrument right yes I'm you know I'm trying just somehow to go I don't know if I can say new ways you know what I what is specific for my playing uh, in amount of time I have I have turned more and more to to one other way I'm tuning the instruments now higher so my double bass that I usually play solo performances on uh, doesn't use a classical tuning wise mm -hmm. like in the orchestra it uses actually one extra string yeah. which is higher the C string yes the high C string yeah. which is exactly for one fourth higher so basically one uses first and second and third string as uh, second and third yeah, and fourth. Yeah. I think uh, it is just my very personal, uh, very subjective opinion. I think that the problem for that hasn't been solved historically for double bass is that we don't really, uh, we didn't reach in amount of last 200 or 250 years, uh, we didn't reach the point where the concert audience would understand us as a really very serious yeah, quality yeah, wise yeah, yeah. or the same quality level like violin players or cello and so and of course one thing is the double bass is very difficult to play so we have to work very hard to reach this level but i think the other problem is that the the, the scordatura so the tuning we mm -hmm, tune the mm -hmm. bass for most of people who are just listening usually concerts average audience they don't have such a trained uh, hearing like we yeah, have yeah, yeah, yeah. and we hear these low frequencies we can recognize it as a melody 
and for other people it's just very low you know just uh -huh. they just okay. hear it like a uh, maybe undefined or something like, like something yeah, like yeah, this yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, i think <laughs> what the one gets with this it's not by the way my idea you know this yeah, high c yeah. string is uh, has been used basically on violone in baroque mm -hmm. i mean they're using rather high d or something or e different things but what one can get is that uh, instead of uh, torturing our back and the neck and playing really really very high on lower tuned strings we don't get the forced bass but we get a natural baritone with a fourth higher and this is you could have heard that makes quite a big difference in the sound color so we get this a bit of brightness mm -hmm. and a naturally sounding good sounding high register which i think is very important to get to get closer to the average audience not just a, that we are of course kind of nearly isolated in our base world yeah, but yeah. that would be a big step for the next generations like uh, some fantastically talented young players they are now just coming like a mushrooms after after a good rain you know yeah, in yeah, warm yeah. so autumn. It's, so this is coming back to that topic you know what is the, the the range and the and the opportunities of the bass line? You said you 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 experimented with strings, and the the way like to reach an audience, you know, is 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 the harder part for me. I think to reach an audience beside or outside of of the bass. Yes, exactly. Because what we are used to is sounds a little bit mean maybe, but. We play for each other many times. Yeah, it's totally instead true. Of, That's what I meant when I said of that we're going out, kind you know, of isolated. Yeah, and yeah. this is why I did, and I'm so happy you did helping in this this Masters of Bass concept because I do this for our audience here. Yes. You know, it. I mean, the the, the, the whole class, the Bavarian Bass Days, can exist without this concept. Yes, we can do course. the classes, we can yeah. do master classes and teaching without any concept. It's less, much less organization stress, but this concept is made. To make the audience aware of what is double bass. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And the span of music we we can we can we can produce with, with double bass is incredible. And it's for me it's in every kind of music, it's naturally. It's not like oh you must play here also or there. It's naturally in classic, it's naturally in jazz, it's naturally in baroque music. And it can be, for my opinion, even be in more music styles. This is I mean you can think about what you want, but with Space Monsters, my idea was to reach an audience that normally would not listen to string instruments. Yes. You know, to, yeah. to, to get this to an audience. And I think you also do this. Exactly. In, 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 yeah. in your way of playing. Yeah, like I, I saw your videos, play, you play with a rock band also. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I like it a lot. Yes, well, you're totally. I really agree with you about this. That's my opinion. And that is of course now specifically my area where I'm active and what I'm working on is would be I, I see it a little bit like my role somehow in my career uh, now at the moment many double bass players are still not using I'm kind of exotic with using this higher tuning mm -hmm. but it, this is slowly changing because many young double bass players are are constantly listening very often these recordings and our hearing habits are getting slowly uh -huh. influenced and i think for Adept me too. yeah for me personally it was very it was also very uh, unpleasant to start when i just started i had feeling that my double bass doesn't sound anymore like a uh -huh. double bass uh -huh. Uh -huh. and i thought maybe it sounds now like some strange instrument mm -hmm. but some other people musicians very good musicians i asked them for their opinion and they told me no you know what it does sound still like a double bass but it sounds very clear unusually clear clearly shaped okay. and uh, uh -huh. that was my actually that was a motivation because i wanted almost to drop it but i think to be honest that this uh, solo tuning used by bottezini we have very often in the literature it doesn't really bring what it claims it, uh -huh. it is not very it's just faster way, more, more or less not even it's not even. one tone is just not so much i mean the double basses sound usually every instrument a little bit even better and they have more convincing full sound in the orchestra tuning because the strings are slightly thicker and they move they manage to move the bridge a little bit more yeah. during the vibration while the solo strings to keep it 
more or less playable, have to be thinner. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe that could be the cause, but uh, I don't think there is a big win. It still sounds yeah. way too dark when you play, for yeah. instance, as a soloist with the orchestra. And for the young players who are now coming, extremely talented double bass players, I would suggest them at least to try to go a little bit out of the of the margins of our borders, which are not really very satisfying, because we don't we don't reach this broad audience the way we are doing since uh, hundreds of years since Bottesini. So we possibly may think of improving something or changing yeah. instead of keeping it unsatisfying. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's, that's what I'm working on here, or that's what yeah, we yeah. are working on yeah, here. Yeah, it's totally. Yeah. And this video is made to spread that news. And a last question I have. Uh, when you see this development the last 20 years and seeing at the point where we are now, I mean a lot changed, especially in the young players. Also the technical skills and everything raised. For me, I always think what happens with education, you know, because the base has such a variety. So when somebody starts in that young age now, and he is taught only in one way, that would be a loss, of course, for this person. But yeah. still, it needs a good foundation, but to show all the possibilities that he has. So I think the education of teachers should also improve. And the instrumental teachers, you know, that start with young people. I mean, if they cannot show the variety and, and you, you need to to go to a box and say, ah, here I have a little bit of jazz, there we have a little bit of, of salsa maybe, because this is all in the base. But the good classical training should be still there. You think there can change something in the university level of educating teachers? Definitely. I, I totally agree with you about this. And what, what I do think is that we are in this process right mm -hmm. now. Of course, you and me, we would like these things to, to see them changing within two years, but it is probably utopic. It's utopic. Uh, it's, it's, it's maybe, uh, maybe rather realistic to, s to say that in some 20 until 30 years yeah, yeah. there will be a huge progress, which is historically not such a long time. Yes. Right. But on the other hand, you know, I mean, I know why this is, because we have a long tradition. If you look at electric guitar, for example, when it appeared, there was no, no school for this. It's, it's yeah. not like there was Simandl or whatever there was on violin or on any. There was just nothing. And what the people had to do, they had to try. Yes. And this, 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 and that, I think that gave them a free mind. Yeah, of course. You I know, think you, you, it would there be. There was never like, you have to, you have to, you have to, you yeah. have to. If we would, if we, we would have been able to hear in the 70s, I mean, when, you know, we were young, this <laughs> Deep Purple and so, so these kind of things. If we could have heard guitar players like Stevie Ray or, or Eric Johnson or, yeah. or Joe Satriani, it, it would be mind-blowing. We wouldn't understand what is happening now suddenly. It's like a three dimensions uh, uh, further. And this is, I think, we are also in the process of a huge improvement with the double bass. And this is just my five cents, you know, from my point of view, yeah, what yeah, you're yeah. asking with this. I think the double bass players should go and ask now contemporary composers who are there among us. They should search for them, people who are capable of composing good pieces, mm -hmm. and ask them to compose. I would say we should go with higher tuning. That is just my personal yeah, yeah, yeah. opinion. I think we will not take a piece of cake from violin players uh -huh. and piano players and cello players if we keep it the way it is. We, yeah. we should get our own. rid of our conservativity yeah, yeah. and go new ways. That's a very good sentence. Thank you so much for being here, for sharing the days with me, with us, and for that amazing interview. You Thank are you very much. most welcome. <laughs>